he charges five hundred an hour. For five hundred dollars an hour, you better give me a back room massage for that kind of money. You know, you can get certified, but that doesn't mean you know how to fly. Hello and welcome to another Hover World Productions video. My name is Matus and I'm a professional drone pilot. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at the different kinds of pilots that are online. We're going to go through what a professional pilot looks like and what an amateur pilot looks like. These are just my opinions. I'm not going to be bashing nobody. I just want to show you guys what we look for as professional pilots and what is it, what's the difference between professional and not professional. So let's go ahead and get to it. Droners.io. Um, we see about 150 pilots on this website. I already went ahead and take a look at some of them. So first off, we're not going to be showing any information about these pilots. We don't want to be harming anybody or ruining the reputation. That's it's not what we are here to do. Um, so first off, let's take a look at the first candidate. They have a video on a real estate property. So I'm going to skip ahead a little bit so we can see what they're recording. So they're going inside the house with a drone. It looks very shaky. Um, there's not enough light. They're walking way too fast. Um, it does look like they are holding the drone in their hand. And this is supposed to be a real estate video. Now they did do a zoom up picture from the inside and now they're showing the roof. So you can tell right away that this is you know, not a professional drone pilot. This might be their first house and might be their second house, but definitely is not something that is professional. And that's something you'd want to, you would want to buy. So let's go ahead and see how much he charges. So he wants $150 an hour. Um, so that's a lot of money for, for somebody that's charging $150 an hour for the kind of work that they're doing in the examples they have. So be very mindful of, you know, who you are, hiring for a drone job. Okay, next up, let's take a look at a different example. Um, let's see here. Um, he says he does real estate, weddings, engagement, home inspections, anything aerial landscaping. All right, he charges 40 an hour. Okay, so he's a lot cheaper. Let's take a look at his real estate demo. So first up, this is his real estate demo. We can see right off the bat that the drone is having some kind of wind wind issues where it's just pushing him to the side. Um, he's doing a side side view. Um, his, um, his tilting or is not very um, smooth, I would say. You can see in the video right here how he's going towards the door and it's, it doesn't just seem cinematic. It's not very smooth. Now, for $40 an hour, I mean, that's not bad. He's, he's trying to be creative and he is flying the drone inside the house. But is this very, very effective? So as you can see from the video, this is the kind of work that this particular pilot does for real estate. Now, this is also another example of a amateur drone pilot. And as I said, I'm not trying to hurt anybody's feelings or anything. I just want to show you guys what kind of different pilots out there so you can see you know, you can get certified, but that doesn't mean you know how to fly. Okay, so let's move on to the next example. This is our third example. Um, this guy says he's been uh, 60 years combined client service experience, now working with area photography. Okay, so uh, drone's only been out for a couple of years. Um, he charges about 75 to $100 an hour. He only has one example. So let's take a look at that. Let's skip ahead a little bit. So right off the bat, I can see that the lighting is not very good. You can see this guy. Um, there's some some kind of weird resolution with this video. I don't know what's going on. It seems to be playing at the highest quality here. Um, so it doesn't look very good. It, th this is not something you'd want to give a customer, especially you know at this quality. Um, it seems like that he is trying to do some smooth shots here and it just doesn't look good. It, it looks very bad because of the quality. Uh, maybe his shots are kind of okay, but 
Um, not very smooth as well. He's he's kind of jittering. Okay. So that's the third pilot. Let's go ahead and move on. So he charges anywhere between seventy-five and a hundred dollars. That's what that's what that money gets you. Let's go to the fourth example. This guy charges one hundred and fifty dollars, and he's been doing this for two and a half years. He uses a Phantom Four Pro Plus. He gets an example of Steamworks at the Chicago Park District. So let's skip a little ahead. So he's doing some simple shots, he's going straight, nothing too hard guys, going straight is very easy, Any, anybody can go straight with a drone, the drone hold, holds its position by itself with the GPS location, so that's not very very creative at all. So looking at this, this is nothing extraordinary, it's nothing extraordinary creative, it's just another drone shot. Um, here's a side shot. So as you guys can see, you know, it, these videos don't look very, very exciting at all. It's, it's very just plain. So that's what I'm trying to show you guys here is a lot of pilots think they know what they're doing and it doesn't seem, if he's been doing this for two and a half years, then I would say that he knows what he's doing. But even from the video, you can make your own judgment. So let's go to the next example. This is um, our fourth pilot, one, two, three, four, fifth pilot, sorry. Fifth pilot, he's been doing uh, development concepts, true potential of properties for nearly 20 years. He charges 500 an hour. For $500 an hour, you better give me a background massage for that kind of money. So let's go ahead and look at this hotel shot. So this is about five seconds. As you can see, it's a very fast shot. It's smooth, but do you justify that price tag? And that was a super small example, like what is that? Let's take a look at this gateway arch that he has going on over here. Remember, this guy is charging $500 an hour. Seems like a very smooth shot. But what are you showing us? You're showing us that you're going through an arch this is the kind of example a $500 pilot is showing us. Now, do you guys think this is professional? Leave a comment down below in the description. What do you guys think? Do you think these, this is good? Am I being too harsh? Let's go ahead and take a look at the sixth pilot, which is our last pilot. This one takes 60 an hour. And uh, he has a couple of videos here. He says here, I've been working in the aviation industry for 40 years with a range of skills and experiences. So he has a Denver, Denver skyline here. This video has about 35 seconds. And straight off the bat, you can see that this video, he's just going straight. And that's all he's recording in this whole video. He's just going straight. Now, what he's recording is nice, it's buildings, but he's not doing anything creative. Anybody can go straight with a drone. Me, you, anybody. So, I mean, $60 an hour did have to go pay and do the assessment to get certified. So, maybe, you know, you could justify it that way. It's not that much. Some drone pilots are taking a lot more, but that's not, it's not very creative. So, this is what I'm trying to show you guys is that, you know, a lot of these pilots are, they're putting false claims on their, on their profiles and it's just not, it's not professional at all. So let me go ahead and show you our profile just for a second so we can take a look at that. Um, this is our profile. So right off the bat, we tell you what we are doing and what we worked on, what are we good at, where it's certified. We take about 135 an hour, which is a reasonable price. And for example, let me show you straight off the bat, why choose Hover World Productions? When you click on our video, and I'll have this video overlaid on the screen so you can take a look at it. And then um, I can show you our portfolio video as well, which I'll have it overlaid on the screen. We'll show a couple seconds of this for you guys to take a look at, but make your own judgments. So what do you think is reasonable? Are we, are we professional? What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. All right, guys. So we, we went ahead and took a look at some of examples. And you can see that some of these aren't that bad. Some of these are really bad. And word of advice, you know, go out, fly the drone, get some more practice. Don't make yourself look like you're not professional. 
because this is, looks really bad and it also hinders your ability to get a job. Now, I want to help you guys out, so if you guys have any questions or how to do better shots, stay tuned to the channel. We're going to be coming out with de definitely a lot more content for that. But to sum up this video, um, make your prices reasonable. You know, if you know that you don't have a lot of content, you know, do some free work. Do, do some free work for family, friends, or somebody, and just try to, you know, get better at flying the drone. Go out on your day off go flying and and try to do those smooth shots try to be more creative just think about what the customer would want what what would you want as if you were the customer how would you want it to look think about it like that because a lot of the time we're just going out trying to do the job and we're not thinking about those things we're not thinking about how it's supposed to look like what is the goal what kind of shots can I do to be more creative to stand out from the rest of the crowd? Are they gonna hire me again? You know, these are the kind of questions you gotta ask yourself is what can I do to be better? What can I do to stand out from the rest of the crowd? And that's what I'm trying to show you guys is that, you know, when you go on these websites, don't put these videos up if you know they're not good. If, if you're not ready, don't go on them. You can register, just don't, don't post something that's gonna make you look bad. And that's the difference between a professional drone pilot and an amateur drone pilot. And you can, people can tell right away. I, this is the first six examples I found on this website in, in my area. Um, so straight off the bat, you can see the difference between smooth shots, between, you know, being creative or just flying the drone straight or up and down. That's not creative at all. That's not going to get you, you know, to stand out from the crowd. And that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to tell you what is a good shot, what is a bad shot. And I'll put some of the shots in the video after so you can take a look at what we are doing so you can kind of see if you can mimic those shots. But thank you for watching. Stay tuned to our channel. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Check out our website at hoverworldproductions.com, our Instagram and Facebook page. And thanks for watching. Again, see you in the next one.